Welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience. Today we have one of the deadliest assassins in history. His name is Hit from Universe 6. It's my pleasure to be here, Joe Rogan. I'm a big fan of your podcast, especially when the topic is about mixed martial arts. I've learned a thing or two from some of your past's guests and implemented them into my technique. Thanks, bro. I hear you're highly skilled in melee combat. So, Hit, there's been rumors I've been hearing around the grapevine. Are you the one who killed Jeffrey Epstein? I'm allowed to answer that question and say yes. What I cannot do is provide who hired me. Let's just say you might have heard of them before. Was it Donald Trump? It was not him. Was it Prince Andrew? Not him either. The Clintons? I have nothing in particular to say. What the fuck? Jamie, tell Jiren to buy me one of those catch and body armors. I think I'm gonna need it. It does not matter who hired me. Jeffrey Epstein is dead. I will always eliminate my target and it doesn't matter who it is, as long as the price is right. Those waifu figures aren't going to pay for themselves, you know. What did you just put in your pocket? I didn't do anything, Joe. No, I saw you put something in your pocket. What was that? What did you put in there? I carry five gum with me everywhere I go. Are you sure? Because it seemed interesting what you were doing. I have no reason to tell you about what goes in my pockets. No, you can tell me. You can tell me. Just tell me what's in your pocket. Turn your pockets out really quick. Turn them up. Turn them up. Just turn them up. I refuse. What is in your pocket? You know, if you didn't do anything wrong, then you got nothing to worry about. You can trust me, Joe. I would never steal from anyone. Should I trust you? I just checked, and there's $20 less in my wallet than the last time I counted it. Did you steal it? I did not steal it, Joe. I mark my bills, so if it's in your pocket, I'll know it's mine. What's in your pockets? Did you steal? Did you steal from me? I left my wallet in the car, Joe. Oh, you left your wallet in the car. Okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. So how old are you, Hit? You seem like an old guy. I am over a thousand years old. I have been to this universe back and forth between my own to spectate the interesting events that occur on this planet. That and a few assassin jobs I receive from time to time, like the Epstein one. I was here when they signed the Declaration of Independence. I also used to write scripts with William Shakespeare back in the 1500s. Those were some good times. Jesus Christ, that's old. I don't even know how old the other guys who have been on this podcast were. Zamasu, Frieza, and Jiren are probably pretty old. But I didn't ask their age. But you were there for the Declaration of Independence? Did you sign it? Like, put your signature on it? I did sign it. I thought it would be kind of funny. I'm not even from this universe, let alone the United States. That's hilarious. Jamie, pull up a picture of the Declaration of Independence signatures. Okay. Wow, you really did sign it. That's crazy. You know I was also at the Battle of Los Angeles. The Battle of Los Angeles, where people thought UFOs were invading in 1942? Yes, but I wasn't there as a spectator. I was tasked to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Humanity was going to be wiped out that day. They were not messing around. Don't try to make me seem as a hero, though. I was taking out someone I was ordered to eliminate. Had it not been for that, I would not have known or taken action. You saved the people of Earth. Thanks, bro. So hit. AI is getting crazy. Did you see that video where they got Light Yagami's voice from Death Note and put it into a South Park bit? Light Yagami? That name sounds familiar. But no, I haven't seen it, Joe. What happens in it? You gotta see this. Jamie, pull up the Light South Park video. Alright, one second. This video is so funny, oh my god. Folks, these are not your average Peridot Crapanite earrings. These are 18 karat gold. Oh, do we have a buyer on the line? Watch this. What are you waiting for? Kill yourself. All right, God damn it, we got another comedian. Ever since that little kid called up, now everybody wants to call and tell me to kill myself. He was right. Do it. Folks, this is an 800 number. Every time you call and tell me to kill myself, it's costing us $2.36. So now how about a caller who wants to buy jewelry? Yes, hello, sir? You're too scared to do it, aren't you? You don't have the balls. God damn it, I'm not scared to do what it. What the fuck? Uh, you're scared. You got, you got lady balls. Wow, that sounds like Jiren. I know, right? Hello? I'm calling about the Peridot earrings. Yes, ma'am? They'd look good on your dead body. Why don't you kill yourself? All right, that's that. That's there, the straw that broke the camel's back. I got a death note right here. What do you think about that? Put it on the desk and write your name on it. Wow, AI is getting too crazy. That actually sounds like the real light Yagami. I can see someone ending up using this technology for malicious purposes. I've already seen some videos like that, it's crazy. Like imagine, what if I wasn't even real and someone was scripting out everything I said? Like I'm not even a real person, how would we know? An interesting question. You really wouldn't be able to tell. 
Anyways, sometimes I use ChatGPT to find information about my targets and their whereabouts. Hopefully they make that Bing ChatGPT AI good again. I was using it until they screwed it up. ChatGPT is crazy. I hope GPT-4 is better. Who would win in a time-stopping battle? Dio's time-stopping ability or yours? I know about Dio. His abilities and growth potential were impressive even if all his powers were stolen. But my time skip is unbeatable. Unless we're talking about Heaven Ascended Dio, I don't know if I would be able to hurt him. So why do you always have your hands in your pockets? Is there a reason for that? Are you cold or something? I'm playing with these fidget dodecahedrons. They calm me down in battle and in dangerous situations. Oh, I bought one of those, but it didn't do much for me. Jamie likes them, though. What about weighted blankets? Do you use those? Yes, I do, Joe. I sleep with a 100-pound weighted blanket. I don't know why it just feels good. I can't even sleep with regular blankets anymore. Those were a good invention, like they just decided one day. Hey, let's get a blanket, but make it fucking heavy as fuck. Wouldn't that be a good idea? And surprisingly, they do feel pretty good. Mine's 40 pounds. So I have to ask, Hit, what do you think of Agent 47? Is he a force to be reckoned with? Agent 47 might not be anywhere close to my level of efficiency, but for a human, he is one of the best. He told me that his last assignment was absurd. His target was a woman in her late 40s and was chained to the bed. His task was to finish her off, if you know what I mean. His handler said he had to give her sexual relief by using a whip next to her bed and spanking her. She said obscenities, but she was into it, a lot. Then the handler wanted him to unclothe himself and get fully erect to fuck the shit out of her to shoot his genetically enhanced semen into her so they could have little assassin red-haired babies. 47 told me after that task, he went to headquarters and shot his handler in the face. Dude, what the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ, what the actual fuck? I didn't know you were friends with Agent 47. That guy is badass. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So do you think you want to be in Fortnite sometime? Please stop talking about Fortnite. Okay, okay, sorry. Have you ever thought about becoming an educational YouTube channel showcasing your deadliest moves? Actually, I have tried that before, but my channel got banned because the techniques were all fatal ones that even a child could pull off. So my YouTube career is over. That sucks. I could talk to Susan about getting you unbanned, but she quit recently. So I guess that's not going to happen. The new CEO is some crypto dude. NFTs are the dumbest shit you humans have ever came up with. Same dude, I agree. Want to see my bored ape yacht club collection? No thanks, Joe. Well, I think that's all the time we have today, then. Hit me up sometime if you ever want to be in a collab, okay? Sure thing, Joe. My next assignment is a man named Andrew Tate, so I'll be busy for a while. But I'll let you know when I'm done. Hit the assassin, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to like and subscribe. If we get 1 million subscribers, I'll release a two-hour podcast. Good night, everybody.